what's special about Intelligent Speaker for those that aren't familiar with it? And how does AI kind of play into Microsoft's strategy with Teams? Yeah, so we're uh, super excited about this. We've been working on it for a while. So uh, it's just great to be able to now share uh, uh, what we're working on, but it's also just sort of the, the first steps in some of what we're doing with AI. So it's exciting in that way too. Um, so these products break new ground in multiple ways. First of all, there's some hardware innovation around a very specific microarray. So there's two hardware products, one from Yealink, one from EPOS, and they're shipping now. So you can actually get these, connect them up to MTR. They're great for the size of room they're certified for. Uh, and then we will release this intelligent speaker experience as an update to MTR uh, very soon, very, very soon. Um, in some cases, by the time people watch the recording of this webcast, maybe, you know, but quite soon. And uh, there's a few things that those capabilities will do. The first new ground that we're breaking is being able to have a biometric fingerprint in Microsoft 365. So uh, Joe, Ryan, Ilya, all of us can go into Teams and say, cr create my fingerprint and mm -hmm. capture audio and video for the future mm -hmm. um, and have that be stored in a compliant, highly secure way. So uh, this is an area where we're sort of leading for Microsoft. Uh, it's the first such biometric fingerprint that is not on your local machine, it's in the cloud. Mm -hmm. And so we take uh, compliance and security extremely seriously. Uh, your fingerprint should go with you if you happen to leave the company as an example. Mm -hmm. uh, once you create that fingerprint, intelligent speakers will be the first use of it. So. A couple of the benefits, one is, uh, and again, this goes back to the challenges and opportunities of hybrid. Right now, if we were to do a transcript, because we each have our own microphones, that transcript would be very readable. You know, Joe said this, Ilya yeah. said that, Ryan said that. As soon as two of us gather around the same microphone, meaning in a room, the transcript kind of becomes a run on sentence. You yeah. know, it's all a bunch of words and, and very difficult to, to read. What we do with intelligent speakers is we actually separate speaker audio even when they're around the same device. Mm -hmm. So if we're all in one room and we're taking turns speaking or speaking over each other, mm -hmm. we can create a very accurate transcript, so over 90% accuracy mm -hmm. with speaker separation. And if you choose to enroll your audio fingerprint, we can do speaker identification. And that goes not just in the transcript, but also over time into the roster and everywhere else. Mm -hmm. So uh, we don't have to do the who's in the room. We just see that. So it's again, making the experience of being in a room much more similar to what we've had when everyone is remote at their own uh, machine. Mm -hmm. And also, um, frankly, making the meeting more useful, even if you're not at the meeting. Right, uh, for so sure to the point I made earlier about cultural change, addressing you know, FOMO by saying, uh, if you read the transcript, in many ways it's as good as being there if you wanted to just observe. Right, and get the content information, right. And and you could see this in courtrooms, you know, being used by, you know, by courtrooms to take the transcript of every bit, everything being said in the room and that type of thing. So many applications of this type of technology just for the voice and transcription capabilities, but as you hinted earlier, I mean the video piece, uh, and and to what Microsoft showed uh, at Ignite was was very cool with virtual meeting experiences. And if you have your video avatar that can then meet with other video avatars, that's really I think you know the future. And I would love to say that's you know coming <laughs> coming soon, but let's you know go ahead and and, and you yeah, know. yeah we. Um there's one last thing I wanted to mention about intelligent speakers, and then we yeah. can, we can talk about that Ignite vision that uh, yeah. seems to have resonated well. Um, the intelligent speakers. The other thing we did is built in some hardware tuning specifically for uh, Cortana on MTR. So to your point, Ryan, earlier of touchless experiences, we're still culturally kind of coming to to terms with what we're comfortable with and not comfortable with, and uh, what we're comfortable touching or not. Luckily, knock on wood, surface-based transmission for COVID seems to have not been you know, as big of a deal as, uh, as we once feared. 